What's up guys, Mulex here. <sighs> I think I got a message on my phone. No message. 189,805 miles. This fucking thing. Uh, my next oil change on this truck is at 191,405. 191,405. So I have 90, 91, 2,000 miles. 1,600 and 95 miles to go, 1,695 miles to go to my next oil change. You see that, guys? I'm on top of it. Old truck, gotta take care of it. It's an old truck. That's what I plan to do, but next time I get an oil change, I'm not going to Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube was $100. hundred dollars Jiffy Lube was and they gave me Penn's oil which is not bad oil it's pretty good oil Penn's oil been around many years but they gave me a Fram oil filter a Fram oil filter one of the worst oil filters you can possibly get for your truck or your car Fram F-R-A-M Fram literally and the guy's like Fram was Great oil, oil filter, one of the best. I said, no, sir, it's not, all right? I said, you might, I said, I literally said it. I said, you can bullshit that to all your other customers, all right? But I fucking do oil changes on my motorcycle all the time, and I would never, ever use a Fram filter or or recommend a Fram filter. He's like, well, we usually, we usually use that or CarQuest. CarQuest is like AutoZone's brand. Not AutoZone's, but I mean Advanced Auto Parts brand. Not really their brand, but they use that brand. CarQuest is just as cheap as a Fram oil filter. Just as bad. Just as fucking bad. So I don't understand that because you're using Penn's oil, which is actually pretty good oil, but then you're using a Fram oil filter. So why would you be using such great oil, not the best oil, but not, not bad oil at all, pretty good oil, but then you're using a Fram oil filter. That makes no sense whatsoever to me. One of the worst oil filters, worst. I would never use that on my bike, and I'll never, ever, ever use it on my truck again. I don't care how old this truck is, how much money I'm trying to save, I am not using a Fram oil filter ever again on this truck. It's so bad. It's so bad. So, what I, what I plan to do is what I planned to do last time is find a shop that is willing to do the oil change for me because I don't have um, a lift or anything like that or I would do it myself. A shop that is willing to do it for me but using my supplies. Some shops don't do that for liability issues, but I don't see why not. I'm still paying you for the labor, for the job. All right, because I want to bring the Mobile One high mileage. Hold on, it's a, is that a cop? Hold on, no, it's not. Mobile One high mileage. And I want to bring them a K&N oil filter. Either K&N or a Mobile One oil filter. Probably K&N. Alright, K&N makes really good oil filters. They make... Their air filters aren't as good from what I read. Uh, BCM makes better air filters. But oil filters? K&N make great oil filters. 
and they got that nut on the bottom on the top of it too for easy on and off but that's not a big deal to me but k &N makes great oil filters so that's what I want to use next time in the truck I want to use mobile one high mileage because the because the mobile one uh, 4t is so great in the bikes the mobile one must be oh, come on give me a fucking break I see why it was giving me trouble last time because I was blowing into it and it was beeping like that, sounding like it wasn't taking it, but it really was taking it. All I had to do was just follow through with what I was doing. But seriously, guys, a lot of people get intimidated by oil changes. That's why they bring it to places to do it. But I'm telling you, go to Oil Zone, get the oil, and not to mention you're going to save so much money. For example, a, um, four quarts, four quarts of Penn's oil, high mileage at AutoZone was thirty dollars. The oil filter is anywhere from seven to fifteen dollars. So let's say forty-five dollars max. Okay, AutoZone was charging me a hundred dollars. All said and done, a hundred dollars. So look how much more money I spent by letting them do it. Sure, there's labor and everything. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't take more than 30 minutes. I'm probably just do it myself. I'm probably gonna go get a lift. I'll probably get employee discount if I get the job. $60 for a lift. Hold on guys, be right back. All right, out of 7-Eleven, I went to get a roll. Rolling butter. I go home, and I put fucking jelly on it. Fucking delish. So yeah guys. $45 for supplies, and I was charged another like $50 to $55 for, for them to do it. Okay, and they put a Fram filter on. All right, they, if, if, if the Fram, Fram filters at Walmart are like $3.99 or $4.99, all right? AutoZone literally get, they're buying bulk. You know, you're, you're buying bulk, hundreds, thousands at a time. They probably don't pay any more than a dollar a filter, if that much. Okay, so let's say they're paying fucking 50 cents a filter, you know, 30 to six, 30 to 75 cents a filter, all right? They're charging their filters, they're charging their customers like fucking $8.99 for their filter or something. They're fucking taxing them. They're, they're profiting so much fucking money for such a cheap oil filter. They're trying to tell me it's one of the best oil filters. Yeah, all right, buddy. Okay, you don't have to do the oil change yourself. Just go get the just go get the oil and oil filter. And then go find a shop that do it for you. Don't go to AutoZone. Everyone thought I mean don't go to uh, Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube. I meant Jiffy Lube. I, I might have said AutoZone a bunch of times. Go to AutoZone to get the supplies. Do not go to Jiffy Lube for them to actually do it. Signature service. Signature service. Topping off your windshield wiper fluid, checking your air pressure, which they do half assed anyway. All right, all right. I had the I had the correct amount of pressure in my tires before I went to Jiffy Lube. When I got out of Jiffy Lube, all my fucking tires were fucked up. More in the top. I had more in the front left than the front right. I had more in the front in the rear right than I did in the rear left. Okay, in this truck, all my tires take 35 psi. All my tires. All right. There was no reason for me to have. 38 in this one, 32 in this one, 42 in this one, 34 in that one. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. All right, go to AutoZone. Get the oil. All you have to do is find, look in your owner's manual and find out what weight you take in your car. My truck is 5W30 all year around. 5W30. All right. Your car is probably the same, if you're especially like in New York. Might even be 10W40, but that's all you really have to know. All right, that's all you have to know. Then, the, then what oil you want to get is totally up to you. 
Some cars take synthetic, like my mother's Mazda 3 from the factory came with synthetic. This truck is conventional. If I put synthetic in this truck, it's much thinner. And if I happen to have, you know, like a leaker or, or my seals aren't really good, it's gonna go right past that seal. All right, so conventional, my truck, conventional. Always conventional in this truck. Never, ever, ever synthetic. Not taking the chance. Conventional, every 3,000 miles, oil change. Even when I had my motorcycle, I started with conventional, but after 3,000 miles, I put synthetic, all right? And even though it's synthetic, I can go max 7,000 miles on an oil change, I still change it every 3,000 miles. Because the most simplest, cheap thing you can do for your car or bike is a simple oil change. The best thing you can do for it, all right? So let's say your car takes 5W30 like my truck. Let's say, you take, let's say you're gonna do conventional, right? Let's say you have an older car and it's conventional, okay? You go to AutoZone, all right? And you pick out a conventional oil, all right? Castrol, I don't know if Castrol makes it a conventional, they might just be synthetic, all right? Mobile One you could take, Pennzoil, let's say Castrol does make a synthetic, maybe go with a Castrol, all right? But I definitely recommend Mobile One. Right? If you have more than 90,000 miles on your car, 90,000, 90,000, get high mileage. It's a few dollars more a quart, but it's better for the car. Like my truck, high mileage. So I get Mobile One high mileage. I take four and a half quarts in here. That means I have to buy five quarts. Four and a half quarts and a new oil filter. Always change your oil filter every single oil change always right so you take 5w30 let's say you go conventional you have such a number of choices okay don't go into your fucking no name brand gas station and get fucking 2.99 a quart don't do it that is the terrible cheap oil don't do it get yourself some decent oil Right? It's, you know what I mean? The mobile one for my bike was $10 a quart. $10, no, I'm sorry, $11 a quart. That's some pricey fucking oil. But it's, as soon as you rode that bike the first time on it, you knew why it was that much money. AutoZone sometimes had a sale, $8.99 a quart. That's when I bought for a few oil changes. Great, 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 great oil. Apple Puffs, right out of the box, mate. Okay, there's about six or eight, maybe six in a box, I think, right? Six Apple Puffs in a box. Let's take the whole box in the room and... Snacky, snacky. We can hear him chewing like a fucking cow. Maybe somebody else in the house wants an Apple Puff. Maybe somebody else would like an Apple Puff. Let's take the whole box in the room and have the box. Let's just eat out of the whole box. He's got the whole box in his hands. 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 But listen, guys, go to AutoZone, right? Get the oil of your choice in the right weight, like we were talking about in the car. If you take 5W30 conventional, pick out a 5W30 conventional. I personally recommend Mobile One. Again, you have more than 90,000 miles on your car or truck, you want high mileage. Okay? If you want to spend a few dollars less a quart, go with the Penn's Oil. Penn's oil is good. My great grandfather liked Penn's oil. Been around for many, 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 many years. Penn's oil is good. I like Mobile One. Penn's oil is what's in my truck right now. Runs great on Penn's oil. But it has a fucking stupid Fram oil filter. But other than that, the oil's fine. Alright? 
Just don't get cheap oil. Don't go into your fucking, you know, it's not a Chevron gas station. It's not a BP. It's not a Shell. It's not a Sunoco. It's just one of those hole-in-the-wall gas stations. And they sell two ninety nine, one ninety nine oil a quart. All right? Let me show you something. I had a kid coming to me for an oil change on his motorcycle. He just stopped because he thought his oil was low, and he bought, just bought oil. He actually wasn't low, and he fucking put way too much in there. Good thing he came to me for oil change. Okay, But he stopped, and he picked up Valvoline. Sorry, I was zoomed in there. Valvo, I, I guess I was zoomed in the whole fucking time. Shit. Anyway, nothing wrong with Valvoline. Valvoline's actually been around for a long time, too. Nothing wrong with Valvoline. This is 10W40 Valvoline motorcycle oil conventional, four-stroke regular conventional. There's really nothing wrong with this oil, so it's a you know it's not really a good example. But right here's your Mobile One 4T racing oil. This is the best motorcycle oil I've ever used ever before. This is the stuff that's eleven dollars a quart I was talking about. But this stuff is great stuff for your bike. All right, but when you buy oil. You just want to look and make sure it has those seals, you know, those, those, um, those, you know, you want to make sure it's J-A-S-O, M-A-A-P-I-S-N. You want to make sure it has all these seals. These are like seals. These are like seals of improvement. All these different abbreviations mean that it was, it's like certified, if you will, okay? This one has them too, so this is good stuff. This is a bad example. I thought it was actually cheaper oil than this. I didn't know, I didn't realize it was good stuff like this. This is decent oil. All right, but that's what I'm saying. You want to make sure it has those abbreviations. That's how you know you have good oil. Any oil at AutoZone will have those abbreviations. AutoZone sells good oil, okay? You just want to make sure it has, it's, you know, it has decent oil, okay? For example, here's an example. A guy in my group wanted to know what oil to use for his bike. Oh, I think I... Hold on. Okay, here it is. Okay, here it is. He's in um, Mexico. He wanted multigrade. This is what he showed me. I'm sure this is just a Spanish oil. I'm not sure what the back looks like. Okay, but you can tell this is just from a gas station. All right. I mean, I could be wrong, but if I saw something like this, I would not buy it. All right. That's that to me. This is bad oil. Okay. To me, that look. This is my roll and butter with grape jelly. Right. To me, that's bad oil. Oh, my vlog is done. Let's pick a let's pick a thumbnail here. How did? Let's go with this one. Publish. I, oh, I forgot to put tags in it. Oh well. All right. But you want to just go with some good oil. All right, so we're gonna go to AutoZone here. We're gonna take fluids, engine oil. Okay, let's say, let's say you take five W thirty. All right, just gonna refilter it. AutoZone has their own Max Life, Royal Purple's good, Pennzoil, Mobile Super Synthetic, Max Life, because it has has those things in there. Let's Mobile. This is the wrong way. I should I should just go to I should just go to images. Mobile One, high mileage. 5W30. Alright, this is the stuff I would get. This is the stuff I'm getting from my truck. Next time I do an oil change. Oh, this is full synthetic. Wait a minute. I don't want synthetic. I don't want 
fucking synthetic. Where's the fucking regular high mileage? Where's the regular high mileage? Oh, well, I don't know where it is. Here's Pennzoil. Not sure what weight this one is, but that's just, you know, Pennzoil. Pennzoil's good. You just gotta make sure you get the right weight and the right type of oil. That's all. That's all. This is 10W30. All right, it's very easy, guys. All right, 5W30 conventional oil images. That will just give me a full different here, see? Here's a bunch of different ones. Valvoline. Matt, here, see, here's something like here. Car Quest. This is this is um. This is this is regular conventional Car Quest Advanced Auto Parts brand oil that they carry. This is their. All right, I would not get this. I would not get this. Here's your Pennzoil regular conventional 5W30. This is good stuff. Pennzoil is good. They've been around a long time. But I need the high mileage. Okay. Quaker State. Never really heard of it. I mean, I heard of it. Just never used it. I wouldn't use it here. Super Tech. All right. High mileage 5W30. This is cheap shit. This is cheap shit. I would not get this shit. Okay. Here's your Gastrol DTX high mileage 5W30. Part synthetic. I, don't, I wouldn't use this. Here you go. O'Reilly motor oil 5W30. Here you go. Here's a good example. You'll find this in your hole in the wall gas station probably. Okay. Crap. 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 Here's mobile one. This is full synthetic though. I don't want synthetic. Here's Shell. Shell's alright if you want to get Shell. Here's your AutoZone brand. This is conventional AutoZone 5W30. Okay. Etc. Etc. Here's your fucking Vavaline 2030. Alright. This is just examples, guys. This is just examples, okay? These are just examples. Here you go. Torco. Never heard of that shit. Never heard of it. Kendall? Alright. Probably crap. Seriously, probably fucking crap. Full synthetic 5W30 Castrol Edge extended performance. If you take synthetic oil, most new cars do. So let's say you have a brand new car. It's time for your oil change. You take synthetic oil 5W30. This is good stuff. Castrol is good stuff. All right, I'm just giving you examples, guys. You don't have to use any of these. All right, these are just examples. Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic. That's good stuff. All right? But if you take conventional oil, this stuff, I think, was $5.99 a quart. I was at AutoZone today for my interview, which went pretty well. This is good oil. Pennzoil's been around many years. This is good stuff. Nothing wrong with Pennzoil. I'm just giving you guys examples, guys. All right, it's much cheaper to get your own. It's much cheaper to do it yourself. You know, it would be 45 bucks with the oil filter if you got the Pennzoil high mileage. It was $30 for five quarts. Oil filter is $15 max. Okay, that means it could be seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $45 in oil change. All you need is a lift, a jack, whatever to get to the drain bolt. It's real easy, guys. You might even have a friend that can do it for you. I'm just telling you. Look, here's a here's a knockoff of valve line. Have a line. Says it has a Chevron logo. I don't know how how uh, how good I can trust that. All right. But I'm just telling you guys, there's so many oils out there. It, it's it's not hard. Just know if you take 5W30 10W40, all right? Then if you take conventional, you go find a good conventional that you want. If you take synthetic, you find a con synthetic, all right? It's very easy. Have a friend help you. I'm just telling you, Jiffy Lube uses crap oil filters, all right? They won't use... If you go there and you use Pennzoil oil, I don't think they'll let you bring your own oil filter in because it's a liability. If something happens... They didn't give you the oil filter. The oil filter fails and something happens. If you if your oil comes out and your engine seizures, they won't be responsible because you brought them an oil filter. It wasn't them. But any kind of like in New York on Long Island, New Jersey, 
almost every single gas station has a shop in it. They will, they'll be more than willing to do an oil change for you if, with your own shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. All right, that's probably the route I'm going to go since I don't have a lift. But if I start working at AutoZone and I get a discount, a $60 lift could be $40. I'll buy a fucking lift. Jack up the front where I can get underneath it and get the fucking drain bolt. You're right. Get the pan underneath it. Lower it back down so it's nice and flat. Let all that fucking oil come out. Jack it back up. Put my drain bolt back. Well, before I put my drain bolt back in, undo the oil filter. Because when you do that, more pressure comes through the system. Everything will it would start dripping more, drip more. Empty the oil filter. Toss it safely. All right. Once it drips completely out, the more you let it drip, the better. Last time I did an oil change on my bike, it was it was the winter oil that I stored in cheap oil just to store it in. I had to let it sit for two hours. I let let it drip, drip, drip all of it out. Okay. Once you do that, you put your you put your um you put your drain bolt back on. All right, you you take you, you dip your finger in the old oil and you rub it around the, the seal of the new oil filter. You screw in the new oil filter. Maybe you could do that first before you put the drain bolt. Whatever you want, don't matter. All right, people like to fill it first and then put it on. Don't do it. Put on a dry filter. Let the car fill the oil filter itself. All right. Once that happens, you'll probably go down a little bit. You have to top off just a little bit, but that's common sense. All right. You fill your fucking car back with oil. And you're good to go. Alright, but I'm telling you guys, go get the oil yourself, an oil filter. If you don't know what kind of oil filter your car uses, they'll be able to look it up and tell you. Google it online. Let's say you have a 2016 Toyota Corolla. 2016 Toyota Corolla oil filter. Or you can type in what oil filter Toyota 2016 Toyota Corolla. They all probably use the same from like 08 to current year. Alright, that's how you know what kind of oil filter you need. You might need a K&N 402. You might need a Mobile One 725. Those are just random numbers, but that's how it would work. Some places even have a book, a catalog. You look in and find the oil filter you need. Very easy to do. And you save money, okay? Even if you don't save money and you spend almost the same amount, you're spending it on good product, all right? You're, you're spending the same, you know, with installation, probably $30, $40. It's still almost $100, but you're using oil of your choice, and you're using a good oil filter of your choice, all right? It's much more worth the money, guys, all right? Anyway, I'm going to eat my thing here. That's all I really wanted to talk about, you know? And that's really it, guys. If you have any, if you have any questions at all regarding oil changes and stuff, link just ask me below, okay? Have a good night. Peace.